Jesus. Oh my god! Imagine a flash of light so bright that it could blind you, even if you are on the other side of the galaxy. That's how bright GRB 220101A was, the most powerful ultraviolet optical flare ever recorded. This flare came from a gamma ray burst, the most explosive event in the universe. But before we continue, I have a small announcement to make. From now on, I will just say GRB, instead of the full name of the cosmic explosion. Why? Because I'm only human, guys, and I don't want to torture myself or you with a long and hard to say acronym. Also, in the second half of the video, we're going to dig into something amazing, a black hole feasting on a star. Yeah, I wanted to add that too. Now let's move on. How do you measure something that's so bright that it hurts your eyes? Well, you need a special tool that can handle extreme brightness without getting damaged. That's what some clever scientists from China and Italy have developed. They've created a new method to measure the ultraviolet optical flares from gamma ray bursts. And guess what? They found the most energetic flare ever recorded. But you might be wondering what gamma ray bursts are and why should you care about them? Gamma ray bursts are cosmic fireworks that last only for a short time, but they produce a lot of radiation from gamma rays to radio waves. They're believed to be caused by the collapse of massive stars or the merger of compact objects, such as neutron stars or black holes, and might even turn you into a Hulk. One of these GRBs was so bright that you could see it with your naked eye even though it was billions of light years away. This gamma ray burst was the brightest ultraviolet optical emission ever recorded, but not anymore. On the first day of 2022, a new challenger appeared. This burst was so far away that its light was shifted to the ultraviolet band, and it was so bright that it overloaded the swift UVOT satellite that detected it. How bright was it? Well, let's just say that it could make the sun look like a dim bulb. It was 400 quadrillion times brighter than the sun, setting a new record for the most energetic ultraviolet optical flare ever observed. That's like having a mini Big Bang in your backyard. But how did the scientists discover this cosmic fireworks show? Let me explain. Professor Fan Yizhong, the leader of this amazing discovery, said that they invented a new way to process the data from the telescope, based on something called the point spread function. He said that this method gave them reliable measurements of how bright the explosion was. It had an absolute magnitude of minus 39.4, which means that nothing else in the universe has ever been brighter than that. Professor Fan also said that this was the first time that anyone had detected such an energetic ultraviolet optical flare with a space telescope. He said that this showed that there was a new kind of astrophysical process going on, and that there were different ways for things to explode in space. And there's also a big upgrade on this topic coming soon. The China-France Space Variable Objects Monitor, or SVOM satellite, which is expected to blast off in early 2024, will be able to spot even more spectacular ultraviolet optical flares at even higher distances. This means that we'll be able to witness some of the most violent events in the history of the universe, such as the death of massive stars, the collision of neutron stars, and the birth of black holes. Speaking of black holes, you might be curious about how these cosmic beasts feast on stars and planets. Well, you're about to find out. A recent discovery tells the story of a sun-like star that is being slowly devoured by a small but hungry black hole in a nearby galaxy. The star loses three Earths worth of mass every time it orbits close to the black hole, which happens every 25 days. The material that falls into the black hole heats up to millions of degrees and emits a bright X-ray flare that can be seen by telescopes on Earth. This is one of the most spectacular examples of a tidal disruption event, where a star is ripped apart by a black hole's gravity. But how did this happen? How did a star end up in such a dangerous situation? Well, the star and the black hole are part of a binary system, meaning that they orbit each other around a common center of mass. The black hole is much smaller than the star, but much more dense. It's about 10,000 to 100,000 times the mass of our sun, which is quite small for a supermassive black hole that usually lurks at the center of galaxies. The black hole at the center of our own galaxy is thought to be 4 million solar masses, while most are in the region of 100 million solar masses. The star and the black hole have an elliptical orbit, meaning that their distance from each other varies as they go round. When the star is far away from the black hole, it is relatively safe, but when it gets closer, it enters a danger zone, where the black hole's gravity becomes too strong to resist. The star is stretched and distorted by the extreme tidal forces, and some of its gas is pulled away and forms a disk around the black hole. This disk is called an accretion disk, 
and it's where the action happens. As the gas in the accretion disk swirls inward toward the black hole, it gets hotter and hotter due to friction and compression. When it reaches a certain temperature, it emits X-rays that can escape the black hole's gravity and reach us on Earth. The more gas that falls into the black hole, the brighter the X-rays become. This is how we can detect when a star is being eaten by a black hole. But how did they catch this cosmic cannibalism in action? Well, they used a smart tool with the Neil Girl Swift Observatory, a NASA satellite that spies on the sky for gamma ray bursts and other explosive events. This trick is a new software algorithm that runs on the satellite's computer and scans the data from its X-ray telescope. This trick helps them spot new kinds of X-ray transients, which are fireworks, that make X-rays pop up where there were none before. Using this tool, they stumbled upon Swift J0230, an X-ray transient that acted very strangely. Instead of fading away after one burst, like most transients do, it would glow brightly for a week or so and then suddenly go dark, repeating this cycle every 25 days. This meant that something was happening regularly in that part of space. The scientists figured out that Swift J0230 was caused by a tidal disruption event, where a star was being ripped apart by a black hole every time it got too close to it. They guessed that the star lost about three times the mass of our planet with each pass, which made a bright X-ray flare. They also calculated that this drama had been going on for about 10 years, and that it would last for another 10 years before the star was completely devoured. This event is very important because it provides a missing link between two types of tidal disruption events that have been observed before, those that outburst every few hours and those that outburst every year or so. It also helps us understand how low mass black holes grow and evolve by feeding on stars. But this is just the beginning of the adventure. We'll witness much more epic events involving black holes and other cosmic mysteries with the new generation of space telescopes that China and NASA are planning to build on the moon. These telescopes will include NASA's Lunar Crater Radio Telescope, LCRT, and China's Discovering Sky at the Longest Wavelength, DSLW. These telescopes will reveal amazing things in the universe such as star formation, planet formation, and maybe even aliens. If you want to know how these moon-based telescopes work and what they can see, then click here to watch the video and prepare to be amazed. And now we've finally reached the cliché part, but I have to say it because it's very important for the growth of the channel. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching, see you next time with more awesome space news.